So for Camp NaNoWriMo, I'm writing fan fiction. And fan fiction, it's kind of like sort of serialized fiction or like comic books where you have one storyline and then you move on to the next storyline after you're done. Like it just kind of keeps going, at least how I write fan fiction. So I'm like finishing up writing the current, the storyline I was on, but I'm like super excited for the next storyline. And I, and I really want to start writing that, but like, the way, like, fan fiction is structured, like I said, it's very serialized. So if I start working on the next storyline, it means I'm not going to have the current one done. And it means I'm going to, like, it's going to take me longer for me to, like, create the next chapter that's ready to be uploaded. Um, during Camp NaNoWriMo, I've tried to post the fan fiction I've been working on at least once a week. Um, and I don't know if I want to kind of go back on that. I mean, there is only a couple of days left of Camp NaNoWriMo, so maybe I could? Maybe? Maybe. <laughs> also, can anxiety give you stomach aches? I, I'm i pretty sure it's my anxiety, but like, I have been feeling pretty anxious all week, and like, it's sort of led to stomach aches. At least, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's what's causing me to have like stomach aches. It's like anxiety, nervousness, what have you. Hopefully it's not something else. So like earlier today, I filmed two videos and it was like my first time filming um, since I filmed the uh, Camp NaNoWriMo conclusion video. And I'm sitting here at my desk not wishing I could edit those videos and wishing them I could get them up, but I am currently studying. Uh, tomorrow is going to be my very last final as a college student, and it's going to be at 7 in the morning because it's originally it was originally scheduled for 10.30 on the East Coast, but obviously I'm on the West Coast, so there's the time difference. So yeah, it's going to be 7 in the morning, and I don't want to do this. <laughs> I really don't want to do this. I've written like six papers in one week. Oh, I still got leftover glitter from my palette filming video. It was good. It felt good to film again because I've just been in it in terms of like schoolwork. And I don't know if what, if just like being at home has made getting work done harder or I've been getting assigned more work. I, I think it's a combination of both. I don't think because because we're not having in-person classes, like, the professors make you both attend, like, in the, the Zoom meetings for, like, a full duration of what your class would have been. And also on top of that, they have you, like, watch videos that they would have shown in class, which, like, end up being, like, an hour and a half, an hour long. And that's on top of the readings they were already supposed to assign you when you were in class. Ugh. So I don't know, but it's almost over. It's my last final as a college student. <laughs> so yeah, so it's crazy to think about that. Alrighty, I gotta get back to work. Just thought I'd give you guys an update. Also, the reopening uh, Disney Springs and Disney World in about five days from now. So that might mean Disney College program might still be a go, maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. I um, I just gotta keep holding on. <laughs> so it's like way later. I'm done with my uh, self quarantine now. That's why I finally have a full face of makeup again. Although I think actually the last section of this writing vlog was filmed before even I I went to New York. So. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm still wearing, like, a full face of makeup in that, too. So, um, like I said, it's way later. I just posted, um, a video talking about Black, both Black Lives Matter and then also revealing, um, my identity as, like, a fan fiction writer. And so, because that's, like, the main project I've been working on for some time now is my fan fiction, it's really freeing just to be able to, like, come out and 
just talk about <laughs> my fan fiction openly now. So um, if you watch that video, you'll know um, I'm currently writing Brains of the Operation. It's a Star Wars fan fiction. Um, and we are now in June, uh, which is usually like prepping time for um, the July Camp NaNoWriMo. And I think I'm just going to continue writing that for Camp NaNoWriMo. I don't know if I have a specific word count in mind yet. I'm still thinking about it. But yeah, that's where my thoughts are in terms of what I'm going to be doing for the next Camp NaNoWriMo. So all of my clothes that were from um, my college dorm are kind of all finally washed and I already have this bin almost done of just stuff that definitely I'm not going to wear and I'm definitely also not going to bring a Disney College program and then I have a ton of shirts here that I need to organize next so that's what I've been doing outside of writing for the most part. So it is two days before the July 2020 Camp NaNoWriMo and look at all the live streams I've already put on my calendar to attend. I know they're not in order, but like, whatever. <laughs> I have been really getting into attending live streams lately just because I find them super motivating and also just because I'm discovering so many author tubers who do live streams. So yeah, it's a sort of like great way to start off Camp NaNoWriMo by attending all these live streams. And I think I've said before in the past, I would love to eventually host my own live streams at some point. I just feel like I don't have a big enough audience to justify a live stream yet. Like, I feel if I did a live stream right now, nobody would show up. And also, I'm not sure if I have the proper equipment to pull off a live stream. Like, I have, obviously, the camera I'm using right now, the camera on my phone, and then the, there's a webcam on my computer, but I don't know if either of them could hold up to a live stream. I also don't know if my internet connection could really hold up to a live stream. It's a lot of stuff to get into and I don't really know if I'm quite there just yet. So I want to try to get this vlog up before G the July 2020 Camp NaNoWriMo starts. I know this vlog has just been sort of all over the place like with footage of me before Hofstra while I was still in school and then a little bit of footage after um, both me going back to Hofstra to collect my stuff and me um, graduating college essentially unofficially because there's still no ceremony to update you about the Disney College program stuff because I know I mentioned that earlier in this vlog um, there's still no new news on whether or not the fall program is a go um, we were supposed to have had our 30-day housing information or no 60-day housing information having been released by now but it hasn't um, and there's still, the official word is that they still have not made a decision, but it is now less than two months before my program is set to start. I am set to arrive at Disney World on August 17th. I guess I'll just call this vlog the in-between camps video because all the footage is from after the April camp, but before the July camp. So like I said, it's two days before the start of July Camp NaNoWriMo, and I am super excited, and I hope you are too, and I hope you enjoyed watching this little, like, scattershot vlog. So yeah, so thanks for watching. See you next time.